Hello and welcome. This is Poor for Trump. You can email us at poorfortrump at gmail.com. Now, the American public, certainly all those who are going to vote for Hillary Clinton, are being taken by Satan, fooled into thinking something is true that isn't true, and believing that a very, very harmful human being, Hillary Clinton, should be the president. They think she's the only one qualified to be president, and they've thought that for eight years, really more, longer. The, Demo the leaders of the Democratic Party only want Hillary Clinton to be president. Nobody else. No one else. And unfortunately, uh, well, Hillary Clinton is a, is, look, we don't have democracy in this country. We have a few people in charge of the Democratic Party who tell us who the Democrats' presidential nominee should be. And we have a few people in charge of the Republican Party who try to tell us who the Republican nominee should be. But for the first time in maybe a hundred years since Teddy Roosevelt, instead of having two party persons being put for president, you have one party person, Hillary Clinton, who is completely devoted to the Democratic Party. Lie, cheat, or steal. And you have Donald Trump, who, who the Republican Party didn't want. The leaders in the party didn't want him. And the news media has made that clear, unless you're li not listening. The news media can't stand Donald Trump, because the news media are puppets of these two Democratic and Republican Party leaderships that try to tell you what to do. Uh, you know, we need to have a two-party system. And we don't have a two-party system. We have a one-party system, the Democrats, and a Republican Party that at one time had its own ideology and promoted that, which was much more honest than the Democratic Party policies. And because you would never put the Republicans in and give them power, finally they've given in. So they'll treat you like suckers just like the Democrats treat you like a sucker. You think that the Democrats care about black people and poor people and the middle class. And they could care less about you. They hate you. But they, they, protect, they, they set up the rich as evil people that you should hate and fight against. And they'll defend you against the rich. But it doesn't make any sense. And you're not listening. You're not listening to what they're saying, and you're not looking at what they're doing. Now, in the uh, debate of October 20th, it is a, it, Hillary Clinton tried to criticize Donald Trump and make him look bad because he borrowed money from his father to try to save New York City. Well, you didn't catch that the reason he borrowed money, whether it was $1 million or $14 million, was to go into New York City and do something that everyone in the country, every political leader and every uh, business person says that's a waste of money. You go in there, you're going to lose your shirt. If you go into Manhattan and do anything to try and help it, you're just going to lose because it's a dump. This is, listen, go look at the newspapers. I was there. Donald Trump was called a fool by the news media because when, when nobody else wanted anything to do with New York City, he thought, let's go in there and see if we can revive this dying city. And right next door to Grand Central Terminal, 10 blocks from the United Nations, he said, let's take this dilapidated hotel and fix it up and make it a, the best hotel in the world. And he did. He made it a beautiful, glamorous, wonderful place. 
Now, he had to fight with the Democratic Party, who didn't want to let him do it. But there was absolutely no work for construction people and very little other work in the city. And finally, he convinced them. He said, well, there's nothing going on and no one wants to try. Let's give him whatever he's asking for and see what happens. And what happened is he created construction jobs. And after that, the jobs of the people who run the hotel. And, and he revived that hotel. And then he went and put up Trump Tower in the, the best piece of real estate in New York City. He bought it and he put up Trump Tower. And certainly he borrowed money to do it. Now, Hillary Clinton wants to make him look bad in the debate by saying he borrowed $14 million from his father. And he said he borrowed $1 million, which is what he did. We were all there when it happened, and we heard about it. But now, like the Democrats always do, and the media, they revised history. So he's a, he borrowed $14 million. Well, now, if he was going into a venture that everybody said would cause him to fail. And you, you think when, he, when they say he borrowed money from his father, you think it means his father gave it to him. He didn't have to pay it back. But when you borrow money, you have to pay it back. If you're a responsible person, like Donald Trump is trying to be, but if you're an irresponsible person like Hillary Clinton and the Democratic Party is, you've been borrowing money and making a national debt for ages, and you don't intend to pay it back. You want your grandchildren to pay it back, if they ever do. And you're just borrowing the money so you can pretend that you're doing something to help. And you're not. The Democrats have been in charge forever. They've been in charge from Roosevelt to uh, Truman. They had 26 years. And maybe two of those years, the Republicans had Congress, one House of Congress. But for the whole of them, the Democrats had the presidency and Congress and the Senate. And they ran this country. They invented this uh, income tax, earned income tax. They created it. We didn't have an earned income tax here in the United States. We had a little one that, that was started uh, before that. But they, uh, it, it was supposed to end. And the Democratic Party decided that we had a huge economic problem and the best way to solve, for the government to solve that problem was for the government to steal money from the people in the form of taxes, and then the Democratic Party would get to spend it how they chose, how they wanted, and they would use that effort to control the country, which they have done. Oh, Donald Trump paid no taxes, Hillary Clinton will claim. But he was following the law, and he was doing exactly what the Democratic Party that has controlled our Congress most of the time has said they should do. He should do. He's wealthy. He has a lot of money. If he doesn't use it to create jobs for other people by investing it, then he'll pay taxes. But if he uses it to create jobs, then he won't pay taxes. And that's why in the earned income tax, in the graduated earned income tax, the, the more you have money and the more of that money you use to do things that will create jobs and help the economy, the, the less taxes you have to pay. That's a Democratic Party idea. He stood there and said it. Unfortunately, Hillary Clinton has learned how to lie to you. That's what the training she has had for the last 30 years how to be a career politician, how to lie the democratic ideas which are lies to the people and sucker the people into thinking that the Democratic Party is going to solve a problem. And all the problems we have today have been created by the Democratic Party. But you don't think. You keep voting those bums in office. And the yes, uh, in the last 20 30 years, we've had some Republican presidents, but then we have not had Republican control of the Congress. And it's very simple. 
The, the Democrats think that they should steal money from someone and then benefit from stealing. They should have someone be a slave laborer and they don't have to work and they benefit from it. That's what the Democratic Party believes. And the Republican Party was started to end slavery because it was against the idea that certain people should be slaves, work for nothing, and then others should benefit, the, 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 the owners, the, the, the bosses, and the Democratic Party. The leaders in the Democratic Party don't work. They just tell you lies, and you keep listening to their lies, and they say things to you that are popular, and you like them because they're popular. But the things they're saying and the things you like are harmful. They're harmful to our nation and to you as an individual. And what you have today is you have a, a earned income tax that puts all the middle class into poverty. If you're middle class, you have to have two persons working to pay, one has to work just to pay your uh, mortgage or your rent. And the other one has to work to make your living. But if you make more money, you, you get less money. You do. If you work so hard that you put yourself into a higher tax bracket, the Democratic Party says you should pay more taxes. And you're a slave. You're working for the Democratic bosses and their ideology. That's what's happening. Can't you figure this out? Are we so stupid that we don't know what's going on? Yes, we are. Look, the Democratic Party hates you. They hate you and they steal from you and they teach our nation to steal. The income tax, the earned income tax is stealing. It's a way to steal from the people. And it's been used to make the Democratic Party in charge. And then they came up with this debt business, which is illegal. It's illegal for the United States government to operate in debt until they said it's okay to do it. And the news media doesn't know what they're talking about. They don't know what they're doing. They think that, along with Hillary and you, that if Donald Trump paid no taxes, he's wicked. But he paid no taxes if he did, didn't, income taxes because he made jobs for people. And he's paid millions and millions of dollars in taxes. Every building he owns pays real estate tax. And every building he owns uh, pays all sorts of other taxes. And when he, when he hires people and they work and make money so they can pay taxes, he pays taxes to do that. He pays half of their Social Security. Don't tell me he doesn't pay taxes. Hillary Clinton doesn't pay any taxes. And if she does, it doesn't matter because he, she gets her money for free without working for it. She has $40 million and nobody can tell us where she got it from. But we all know where she got it from. She went and spoke somewhere and got $2 million. When her, her words are all lies. But the rich, rich, rich people who gave her the $2 million like her lies. And they don't pay any taxes. They don't pay any taxes at all. They do the same thing Donald Trump does, and they're one of the top 1%. But they don't create jobs for anyone. They have easy jobs like actors and actresses who get paid way, way more than they should for what they're doing. And if there's any industry that's evil and wicked, it's the movie industry that teaches you it's okay to smoke pot, it's okay to steal, it's okay. Everything they t show you is to indoctrinate you, to brainwash you into thinking that the Democratic Party is God's idea. And it isn't. It's the devil's idea. There is no way a government can be your friend. There's two things a government can do. It can make you give your money to the government and it can make you die. That's it. And when it takes your money, if the Democrats are in charge, which they are all the time, 
then it's a one-party system. It's the same as any dictatorship in the world. And it is a dictatorship. You just keep agreeing to it because you don't understand. Now, Hillary Clinton's going to improve the economy by stealing money from rich people and paying a few upper-class middle people to fix roads and put bridges up. And she thinks that's going to solve her economic problems. And it won't. They, they, we've done it already. The Democrats are always doing that. Has the economy improved? Well, it's a little better than it was. But it's not better. And you work and you work hard and you don't have any money when you're done at the end of the year. In fact, you're in debt too. Ah, you're a slave working for free and the Democrats are benefiting from it because you insist that they're wonderful and you keep putting them back in. And they keep enslaving you worse. And when they raise the income taxes, they're pretending they're going to raise it on the rich and the middle class a little bit. But the middle class will get a large raise and the rich still won't pay anything because the Democratic Party allows the rich to take deductions if the rich do things to create jobs for other people. And that's what Donald Trump has done. He went into New York City and created jobs. He has 10,000 people who have a job. Whether he becomes president, they'll have them, or he doesn't. And he's not a party person. He's not liked by the Republicans because he speaks his mind. And people, many, many, many people are hearing what he's saying and seeing what he's doing and saying, and they're, they're waking up and they're, they're supporting him. But unfortunately, there are too many people in this country who think the government is their friend and that the Democratic Party is their best friend. And they are ruining our nation. They've been ruining it since I, Roosevelt took over and was a dictator for 20 years here. Dictator, that's what Roosevelt was. There was no freedom of speech. Black people had to go in through the back door to see him. And Hillary Clinton is worse than Hitler. She's worse than Hitler. If you know anything about her private life, which you don't, because the media won't tell you, she goes into tirades and, and anger fits off the camera. She gets, when she was first lady, she did horrible things. She beat up her husband physically because he was a rapist. Eh, she did. He was wearing makeup because he had a black eye. Well, who gave it to him? The, 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 <laughs> yeah. Look, you're a sucker. If you think the Democratic Party has any interest in you as a person or improving the, the, the economy, anyone who's in the top 1% wants the economy to do better. They want to do better. They want to work hard and make money by helping others get a job, unless they're Democrats. And then however they're making the money, it's in some way in which they're making money by making someone else work as a slave. The people in China are slaves. And the Democrats want a, a free trade with China so that the Chinese can be slaves working at 20 cents an hour, imprisoned in there by their employees. We have minimum wage here. Anyone who wants to sell anything to this country should have paid minimum wage to the people, American dollar minimum wage to the persons who worked for it and made it. And if they don't, uh, we should put a duty on them on that equal, so as if they would have paid that. If the Chinese had to pay $15 an hour, which the Democrats want to be the American minimum wage, if they had to pay that, Everyone working in China would be very, very wealthy until we stop buying their stuff. But we can't buy shirts made in the United States because all the companies that made shirts in the United States have had to go to China and get slave laborers. And guess who those companies are owned by? Democrats, not Republicans. Go look and see. Look, I am poor, but I'm not stupid. 
and you're not poor, but you are stupid. Stop voting stupidity. Put Donald Trump in, let the Republicans have control, and be a Republican, and participate. Demand that the Republican Party do things the way it's supposed to do it, which has to do with freeing slaves, ending slavery, letting people honestly work hard to make money, and keep it. We don't need an earned income tax at all in this country. We shouldn't have one. Nobody should pay it. No one. And the economy should take care of itself. And yes, the government should prevent people from being overly powerful in the economy. But Teddy Roosevelt, a Republican, did that, not the Democrats. The Republican Party is for morality and not stealing from other people and not taking advantage of other persons but being clever and having good business practices that allow you to succeed by helping others to succeed. That's what business is about, except for Democrats. They make their money by stealing. And now you sit down with me and let's go down the list of the names and let's look at what they do. And yes, there's a few Republicans stealing, but that's only because the Democrats won't let them be honest and not steal. And the Democrats control our government. And it's a lousy government because they're controlling it. And they've been controlling it. And it's a one-party system. And we got to end that. We got to have two parties that have meaningful differences. And they discuss them every week, every month, every year, not just once every four years. Democrats are no good. You may mean well, they may mean very, very well, but they're not doing well. 50% black unemployment when the, from the, since Roosevelt started till today. And it's the Democratic Party that causes it. I can show you, it's very clear. Every city in this country that has black people in it in large numbers who are poor, the city persecutes them and prevents them from ever leaving poverty. And they make money off of it. They get rich off of it. They get powerful off of it. And the media doesn't ever report it. There's nobody poor. The media has no poor people working for it. The Democratic Party doesn't have one poor person involved who gets to make any decisions. They might go and serve for free, like slaves, but they don't get to decide what's going to happen. And the Democrats are good at lying. So whatever they decide will happen, it will be bad. For poor people, they'll make slavery. In Mexico and China, there's slavery. And we buy everything from them. Walmart is in Arkansas. Bill Clinton's from Arkansas. There's no such thing as a white person from Arkansas who isn't a white supremacist racist. Wake up. Wake up. Think. Pay attention and stop being suckered. We are poor for Trump. Please vote for Donald Trump or don't vote at all. But better yet, send us an email, poorfortrump at gmail.com and join us and participate because the only people who can save this country are the poor persons by becoming responsible and saving our government from the destruction that the Democratic Party is driving it to. Poor for Trump at gmail.com. Poor for Trump at gmail.com. Thank you. And share this with others. Or don't. We, no matter what happens, we have to change the fact that poor persons and poor black persons don't have a say in our government and that they're being abused by the government so that the government and the people making money by working for the government can keep doing what they're doing and never, ever, ever improve the life of these poor people. Just keep it the same or make it worse. And the middle class, you're much, much worse off today than you were 
when the Democrats took charge. You're much worse. You're slaves working for nothing, and you can't figure it out. Get out of the doldrums. Get your brain out of the media. The media is a bunch of liars. They're very rich, very elite, white supremacists who can't tell right from wrong. And that's so they promote and encourage what's wrong, and you like it, and you agree, and where the country goes from bad to worse, and bad to worse, and bad to worse. And it's not going to continue forever. It will end, and you will not have much when it's over. Poor for Trump at gmail.com. Poor for Trump at gmail.com. Send us an email, and we'll send you a response with a lot of ideas, and let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. You don't agree with us? Good. Let's talk about it. And you might teach us something new, and we might teach you something new. It can't be that in a 100 years, the Democratic Party, if it really was trying to do accomplish something, would tell, still have 50% black unemployment in the United States. That's crazy. Poor for Trump at gmail.com. Thank you.